hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i am inside my car i'm in a frozen ice ball called that is called a car so i'm freezing to death right here um i have gloves but not because i'm cold but because i have a hand mask on my hands and i have this ice cream that is a dominican ice cream company that used to make organic ice cream but now it is americanized and a bigger company and they don't care about what they put inside their thing so it tastes like shit actually no they taste good but it's overly sugar now my boyfriend got me a box of those that brings four I appreciate it, but the, I used to eat those when I was younger. Not anymore, but I'm going to eat it because you guys know how I feel about overconsumption. But we're going to talk a little bit about having hard conversation with family members and loved ones. I, I'm not going to tell you like who I am following politically. And I'm not going to tell you what my political beliefs because... I think that your political beliefs are not for you to share with the world, are for you to not make a di I don't know how to explain, but I do believe that your political beliefs are truth to you and you should keep those private. And recently, I changed my political party, yesterday reason, and I'm super happy about the idea that I changed political parties and the reason being is because for the last couple of years my political beliefs and like my beliefs in general have shifted to be more in tune with what I fundament fundamentally believe myself and I think it's very important for you to know what you what you believe and support on a more fundamental deeper um value because at the end of the day we live in a country that the people do not give power to the government i know it's made to believe like that it is made to believe that we give we the people give the government power but it's not truth and you know that if you're an idiot okay anyway like well, i'm not gonna get into how idiot you are how idiotic you are because you're not idiot you're not an idiot you're just misinformed which is a completely different thing and i'm going to say that that you're misinformed because i hate having conversation with my parents about um religion about politics about beliefs about anything anything that has to be more deeper i don't have those conversations with my family because my family are ignorant yes they are my family is ignorant okay and i can say that because it's the truth and you know i don't want them to believe what i believe but and I don't want to push my beliefs onto them just like I don't want them to push their beliefs onto me and that's what they do and when they do that is when I have an issue okay I believed back when I was obviously younger you see that <laughs> you saw that Anyway, so that one's not going down yet. My my blinkers are not even work, um working right now, so whatever. I have to stay in the car for a little bit for me to, for it to get super heated. Anyway, so where was I? Okay, so I just hate when they want to push their agenda onto me and you know you guys know that i'm very and 
the thing is okay so last night okay so first and foremost this past weekend it was my um mom's birthday and my sister's birthday oh and i'm drinking tea oh my god my tea is so good i made it myself i made it with hibiscus clove star anise um cinnamon and cardamom and then i added a little bit of um what else did i add the hibiscus um goji berry and um jojo bee you know what jojo bee is it's so good it's like an asian um spice or like fruit so good bitch anyway i don't want them to push I don't want them to push their beliefs onto me just like I wouldn't push my beliefs onto them so last night just like i wouldn't want just like they wouldn't want me to push my release onto them so we hadn't okay so this weekend was my parent my mom's birthday and then my little sister's birthday you know my baby sister the one that i love i mean i love both of my sisters but but my baby sister my but okay my both of my sisters so we had a lot of birthdays and stuff which is why i couldn't vlog and on top of that i lost my camera's charger bitch and I've been trying to find it and I cannot find it anywhere. I don't know where I misplaced it. I misplaced my camera charger and I'm so upset because how am I supposed to use my camera and my camera is so fucking expensive. I saved for months to buy the fucking camera. And you know, I work really hard for it and I cannot find the charger anywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've looked through everything and everywhere for that freaking charger and I cannot find it. So I have to turn my car upside down to be able to find the fucking charger which is so annoying okay so um last night was my sister's birthday my mama's birthday was on okay but last night was my sister's birthday whatever and um we had into an argument because my sister saw me with a stanley cup you know and you guys know i received this as a gift by a dear friend of mine um and Bush, by the way, she's very successful. Like, I should link her business down below because she's trying to make, she's such an amazing makeup artist. And you guys should book her. She's like, you should book me. Okay, so anyway, so she, um, she gave me this a couple of months ago. And, you know, I use it, um, whenever, like, I want to have my little water with me and I don't want to carry my big tub. So I usually keep it whenever I leave the house because now I use my pink one for the house and I use this one for when I go out because it's 40 ounces. It's 40 ounces. It's typically like three water bottles, a standard water bottle. So, um, you know, it's easier to use. But since I have it, I'm not going to not use it. Are you dumb? I'm not throwing away usable products. I'm just not buying them, but I'm, you know what I mean? So, um, my sister was like, oh my God, that's a Stanley Cup. That's a Stanley Cup. That's a Stanley Cup. And I'm like, yeah, but, um, and then she told me, oh, I wish I had one. And I said, yeah, I know. But like, unfortunately we're not using that anymore. We're boycotting them. And my mom got offense, offended. Like, bitch, are you, do you have stock in Stanley that you got offended, bitch? Like, why do you got offensive? And then she goes, oh, um, you're not basically i don't want to say what she said exactly but she essentially told me that i shouldn't get involved because it doesn't involve me like i'm not part of the cultures that are going through it right now nor um the people that are doing that to the culture and i said i am not but it's affecting me because my tax paying dollars are going to something that i don't condone nor does more than 50% of Americans, bitch. So, um, so that's what happened. And we got into it. And, like, I understand her point 100%, but at the same time, oh my God. Oh, this is my glasses breaking. What the hell? My car, I've been sitting here for 10 minutes and my car has not heated up, bitch. It's so cold it is. 
and um, you know that happened and she went to saying how I shouldn't be posting on social media but it doesn't look good on my business because she goes I left all you know a lot of my you know like I understand where she's coming from but at the same time I don't agree with her and the reason why I don't agree with her is because I know the power of my boats and the power that I want to I don't know I don't want to get into it but you know what I mean I don't I only, I only have to sit here and look at you like this and you should know what I mean by that okay so that's that um so I'm just here to say that you should you know make your own beliefs do your own research and it's not about what's happening in other countries I mean it is was about it is about that 100% but it's also about what's happening in your own bitch because your government is taking advantage of you just like it's taking advantage of me and my tax and my heart on fucking money i'm poor i have extreme student debt just like more than 90 percent of people in the united states because we live below poverty line meanwhile the rich are out here doing all this crazy shit under your own tax under your um tax um under your tax money but that's mm. and don't get me started what happened in Lancaster in Lancaster a, an Amish farm got raided by the police without a warrant without anything basically just because you want to know why because the bigger companies oh and then you know what they did they also um, not only they got raided but they started destroying all of their crops because they sell it at so much so much of a cheaper um, price to local markets and stuff. And the bigger companies are losing money because people are becoming more food conscious. You guys need to research what's going on around you, okay? These are so good. But this is so bad for you. Hold on. A part two is coming today. I mean tomorrow. Or today, whatever. Okay, guys. Um, I'm back to... I got to work. I just wanted to get here. I was driving like a fucking little... Um, very slow, essentially. I was driving very slow because... I do not want to get... Cra I don't want to get crashed. I don't know how to drive in the snow. It's my first time driving in the snow ever hate it okay so back to what i was saying about the food thing i told you about that then another thing like for let me give you an example about food con consciousness if you eat pasta i know that you're not eating good pasta with one ingredient one to two ingredient maybe three like literally pasta is made with flour egg and water okay you guys are eating chemicals when you buy pasta at the supermarket if you want good quality pasta and i'm not talking about the price but good quality for your body pasta that is not processed you need to buy pasta that has one ingredient and usually the pasta that has one to two ingredients is usually from Italy, okay? It is usually from Italy because Italian people know about pasta, okay? Why are you writing pasta from Becky from next door? Is she Italian? Does she know how to make pasta? No, she doesn't. So, um, not Becky from the door. I'm so sorry. That's not what I mean. <laughs> from the corporations, bitch. Corporations wants your money they want you to be sick it is more convenient for you to be sick for them okay because that's how they make money big pharma is a terrorist company <laughs> don't cancel me but it's the truth um. <laughs> You guys, I'm literally a bit a little fish, like a little beta fish in water in the ocean. I'm nobody, okay? I'm not swimming with sharks. I'm swimming in my little 
um, beach town on the coastal side of the U.S. I am not in the big, I'm in the ocean, but I'm near the coast. I am not in the deep sea, bitch. In the deep sea are these big corporation that are out here for your money. And all I want to say is that you should like just be cautious. Do more, do more research. Don't fall into capitalism, into, well, into consumption, consumerism, capitalism, consumerism. Don't fall into consumerism. Don't live beyond your means. For instance, let me give you a story. I feel there's a lot of people around me that I know. I'm not going to give names because, you know, I know that I'm very, like, open with you guys and i tell you guys everything although like you guys i mean like the five of you that love me and that i love you too bitch i love you so much um the five of you that love me you, this video I, i'm gonna put this clip like uh, in the first segment or whatever so you can see okay whatever it doesn't matter i'm probably not gonna do that but whatever don't fall into consumerism bitch okay there's people around me that live beyond their means they are broke like, I'm not even kidding. Like, they're asking me to borrow, like, for them to borrow money from me. And you know that I'm poor, okay? And they're out here owing all this money to people thinking about their next trip. And I'm like, um, excuse me, bitch. You are living beyond your means. And it's the same people. They're like, I don't get involved with politics. I don't get involved with what's happening around the world. I don't get involved with this. I don't get involved with that. Well, bitch, everything that is happening in your home country and around the world has something to do with you, okay? You should get involved because you are the one giving the power to these people. I don't know. Do your research, bitch. All I want to say to you is that you do your research. I don't go to Penn State. This is my boyfriend's, by the way. Do your research and I hope you live well. Okay. I'm going to need to go because I need to go. I need, I need to get ready for work and I don't want to talk because I need to get, I need to find a face mask. Everybody's getting sick and everybody and their mom is getting sick and I do not want to get sick. So I need to work with my face mask on. And the face mask that I use is this one. I get it from this Korean website. You might think that I'm like obsessed with Korea. I'm not, bitch. I just know a lot of it. Because I mean, this mask right here. I buy things that people, like for instance, I'm not going to buy at your local CVS or Rite Aid a pack of face mask that smells like shit, okay? I'm going to buy face masks that are made for public consumption that are strong that has that is good quality you want to know why because i'm ref i refuse and i feel personally i think that reusable face mask and i'm talking about like the cotton the regular face mask or whatever like you know like the companies were mass producing for your job you know the, the face mask are, are bad for your skin yes they are and they're bad for the environment because i don't know they're just bad for you these bitch you get a couple of uses from these these literally i have sprayed it with um salicylic acid and glycolic acid so it doesn't break me out i've used this for, i have i opened this one about two months ago and look it's still brand new um it is these are made because in Korea, you know, it's very polluted and peop and this helps you with pollution. So if it blocks out pollution, it absolutely block viruses, bitch. That's my logic. The other ones, I feel like when I, when the pandemic, well, I never got COVID, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, that's it. That's what I want to talk to you about. I hope you guys like my video today. I know that I'm ramping and I came in hot. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because you need to wake the fuck up and you need to um, do your own fucking research. Um, my hands feel so hydrated, bitch. I put um, a lotion. I don't want to tell you what lotion I put because our, those are lotions that I want to get rid of and I'm not going to promote it. Although, like, my word doesn't mean anything to you. I know that. And you probably even watch this video to the end, so fuck you. All right, bitch. Have a good one. Bye.